So, MTG Arena, state of the game in March 2020. Let's have a look-see. Uh, the first thing they start talking about is Historic Anthology, uh, which we have already covered. There will be 25 new cards in this next update, and also some card styles with Thalia, which we uh, showed off in our other article. So this article right here, you can see there are four card styles, and all the 25 cards are in this list. You want to look at this, go to the article section on each hub and you can find it uh, there. So going into the update, uh, the one of the cool things here is we're finally getting direct messaging about time. This is one of the uh, things that I felt should be in the base game, uh, but we're finally getting it. So as you can see in the print screen, you'll be able to tab through. Uh, different people to to chat with them. Uh, it looks quite nice. Um, I'm betting that if you click uh, press enter, you, it will bring up the chat. If it is like uh, in other games, making it quite quick and easy to reply to your friends. And I also think having a busy or offline status is very important. Like the ability to be shown as offline is quite useful. Um, so that's a good add-on. And you also earn quest progress by playing with your friends. So this will not, not count towards daily or the weekly wins of awards, uh, unfortunately. Uh, that is understandable, of course. It can be easily be exploited. But it's a good thing for those people that want to play against their friends to have some kind of progress. So there will be a new player experience. Uh, the account mastery is gone. And instead they have added five color challenges. Uh, probably not very interesting for all of you guys that probably have gone way past this. Uh, I think it's a very cool uh, thing to add, or I think it's a very good thing to add, uh, because I do not like the new player experience as it is today. It is, uh, you, you barely get the base grasp of the game with the way it works. Uh, and I think this is important to improve on. Uh, what I would like to see is a system like in Magic Duels, where there's more of a campaign way to to experience the game. It's basically just giving Sparky some more decks to play with. Um, don't have to be anything advanced. You can kind of... Uh, what I think would be a good thing is giving Sparky some decks that introduces the player to Planeswalkers and stuff like that, learning how that interaction works. It might be the way, so I'm not sure how this, uh, how these new quests work, maybe that is what they've already done. But it would be cool to have some kind of campaign, uh, which, which is basically Sparky with different decks uh, that you can earn rewards playing against and completing. So I think that would also be a fun thing for us experienced players to, to play through too. Uh, we finally have a way to select a default sleeve, and that is about time. And uh, also changing the sleeve layout. Um, don't un understand why this hasn't been done earlier. Don't see like why this is a lot of work to <laughs> to add, and it should be in the game from the start. Uh, they are also working on favoriting lands. So both of these are very nice. Uh, like I always forget this. I always forget to add sleeves and styles to my new cards, and this is a very welcome thing. I think a lot of you are missing missing this the options too. <clears throat> so emote evolution, this kind of got me a bit excited until I read that it was yeah, they're basically added thanks and sorry. Wow, what an evolution. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I've been waiting for all, all year. So obviously you can't chat against your opponent, uh, so you have to stick with emotes. What I would like to see with emotes is, can't you just please add the system you have in Magic Mana Striker, a mobile game? Please, look look at this. So this is what I want to see. I want to be able to use emotes like these, and I want to be able to customize them. I want to be able to buy emotes. Like you can see here, there's basically five basic emotes. And they come with, uh, or is it more? I don't know, I'm not... Um, I've only tried Magic Mountain Strike for a couple of minutes. Uh, but I really like this. 
uh, and the ability to buy extra avatars. It's a great way for monetizing. You could even make these gems only. Like, it's a good monetization scheme, and uh, it's something that players don't need, but I think a lot of people would like to, to have. And you can even, like, use these emotes in chat, like you do on Facebook. You can have a conversation, and then you can add, like, things like these. Cool and fun emotes. And it's already in Malmas, right? You could, maybe these are a bit too cartoonish, but I think they fit would fit in Arena too. Maybe make the art a little bit different, but basically the same. It would be super fun. And lastly, we have Cube Sealed. So actually not lastly, there are a couple of hidden updates uh, that they also confirmed that I will go through uh, that were not in this article. Uh, but cu Cube Sealed is a very welcome thing to have. Not as much as, I'm not really excited for the cube format, but I'm excited about the ability to do phantom events. So they are talking about they want to do cube drafts, uh, they can't right now because there are no draft pods, so that is coming. Hopefully it will come with a summer update or something, I really want them to push that. It's a very important thing to be able to draft against not only real human people, but also your friends, that would be awesome to have. So cube drafts or cube sealed, if you don't, are not familiar with cubes, it's basically, it's really popular in real life where people make their own cubes, basically uh, a, about 200 to 300 cards that they pick out and put in uh, and make their own custom boosters. So they pick all the rares and mythics and powerful stuff and make... Um, make a huge card pool and then they lump that together in boosters and then you get those boosters and you build decks out of those cards. It requires a lot of thought and color balancing and stuff, but it is really fun to play completely broken strategies in uh, sealed and draft events. So sealed is the thing that's coming first because they don't have draft pods yet, so sealed it is. So this will be coming in early April, uh, with more information about the playable cards in the cube uh, later this month. We'll cover that too in an article. And then cleanup phase, uh, the update is scheduled for Thursday, March 12th. Uh, before this, I will also push our new update with the MTGA Assistant. If you're not familiar with the MTG Assistant, we've added uh, a lot more than just deck tracking and draft helper. We now actually have ladders. So all users that install MTG Assistant and log in with their Aetherhub account will be able to join the ladder. So right now we have constructed unlimited ladders and we have the first 50 mythic players in constructed unlimited. Uh, what I'm working on right now is adding, so this is only me that are on these ladders, the best of one ladder, best of three ladder, historic best of one and three ladder. Uh, I'm currently testing this this weekend and we'll be pushing this update um, early next week. So look forward to that. So this will probably be out before the MTGA uh, updates. So let's talk about the hidden updates. Some people noticed in the print screens uh, some new pets and card sleeves. So this is a new pet, the Jace pet. Look at him. I think it's quite cool. I know that a lot of people complain about the pets. I, I like all the pets, except for the first one, the cat st statue. I didn't find that very exciting. I think this is cool. I think I still will use my uh, Dragon Whelp. A lot of people complain about the Dragon Whelp. Like, if you actually see him in action, he's super cool. I think he's by far the coolest pet so far. Uh, but this looks pretty nice too. <laughs> So the other thing that's coming is uh, we will have new basic lands. We will have the new un unsanctioned lands. So these will be available for purchase. Uh, these lands costs, like the whole set of lands costs 2,500 gems. The pet costs either, either 3,000 gems or 20,000 gold. Uh, the lands are not available for purchase with gold. And uh, these are gems only. I'll have to look at how these looks in um, in the game. I think the Nyx lands is uh, more than enough for me. I really like them. I think these will just be... Well, they are quite different, so it will be cool to see them in the game. I'm really excited that they do more stuff like this. Uh, but I wish that the update were... I, I feel like most updates are basically just new card art and new events. 
and rarely there are uh, a lot of new functions like this time it was it was with the cube there comes phantom draft so it's really cool to see that uh, and more of that please so now that we have so many different events all we need now is just brawl uh, accessible all the time that would be cool and i think we're we're good to go with the amount of events and please concentrate on making more stuff for the game but it's really nice to get uh, starts like this so people can... Uh, I know a lot of people are excited to buy these in real life and I'm pretty glad to see them in Arena. So are you buying any of these? Are you buying the lands? Are you buying the pet? Uh, leave a comment below and let me know. And until next time, have a nice one.